Yes, that's eminently doable if Garrett would just, you know, close the door the first time I tell him to. But it's probably smarter just to go in behind the Watchmen and go through the crawl space to get the arrows. So, get the water arrows out of the fountain. And I'm gonna get into the crawl space. Watch for the Hammerite, see what he does. Looks like he's on his way back out anyway. Oh, it looks like he patrols in here. Well, how do you like that? It's a city watch station, but the Hammerites patrol it. Oh well. Let's grab the broadheads while we're in here. Then get back to my crawl space. Now I'm gonna read the crime report and... How was your day? Evening to you. Head into Garrett's building. Hey you! Back off! City Watch Crime Report, District of South Quarter. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of South Quarter. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Ten items of valuable property were reported stolen. Zero locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed to the office of the commissioner. All right. Now, Garrett's building, because I stole the courier bag and didn't bring the widow any wine, there are going to be a couple of hostels in here. There's no need to go into my own apartment because there's nothing inside, but I'll show them to you just the same. All that's in here that we need to worry about are the usual two broadheads and one piece of loot out of the landlord's room, so I'll hit that first. The chest has two broadheads, and the fireplace has a jade goblet worth 75. That's it for Garrett's building. Now the two thugs should be up there already. Let's check it out. Oh, they're not in here. Maybe they don't come till the next day. There, I finally got the missing broadhead. Yeah, I guess the thugs don't come till later. Well, that's good. That means I can play with my practice locks. And you'll notice I finally got the broadhead that's usually clipped out, so that's gone for good. Now, the silver practice lock. I think it's the same as Widow Moira. Down, up, right, left, up, right, down, left. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. And we're done in here, so back out to South Quarter to clear the rest of it. I could have sworn the thugs were in here. I guess they don't come till next time. Anyway, we're ready to clear the rest of South Quarter now, so get on that. Be wary of City Watch and Hammerites. They're both out in this district. There's a hammer. He's replaced the Watchman. So get the two broad heads out of the Can bush. I help? Oh my gosh. Mm. Is the builder's piece now. I can't remember the last time I saved. Well, it can't be too far back. I guess Hammerite's here better than Watchmen, because I could have made that run before. Okay, yeah, not too far at all. That's what I was hoping for. We'll just stick behind the hammer right here. Get the two broadheads by the well. And be a little more careful heading into the building by the same route I always use.
Just the fire arrow in here. Still no new guards or anything like that. Uh, I guess the hammer's walking a loop. That's fine. So we need to get the two broadheads out of the city watch station that respawn every day. Good to know you folk are still watching too. So while his back's turned, I'm gonna increase speed to get inside and get the two broadheads off the shelf. I'll wait for him to head back down the street move in behind him. Nice and easy. Here's the merchant who does get mad if he actually sees you steal his coppers, but those three coins are there every day. We just got them. Head into Black Alley now. Black Alley should still be clear, yes. Open the sewer grate, get the landlord's blackmail money and the water arrow. Head down here, get the moss arrow out of the bush. Well, easy for him to say. And I'll stop by Heartless sick. Perry to sell off my metal and gems before I head to the docks. Let me know what I can do for you, Garrett. That's it for South Quarter. On to the Evening. docks. You can see everything that respawns there, and it's worth noting, too, that the Abysmal Gale is still there to be cleared out a second time. It doesn't disappear until after the Clock Tower, which means we get to visit it a total of three times. So without further ado, on to the docks which should still be patrolled exclusively by City Watch except for the actual pagan territory. So I'll break left first. Get the read the crime report. City Watch crime report, District of the Docks. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of the docks. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Eleven items of valuable property were reported stolen. Two locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed the Office of the Commissioner. So we'll nab the fire arrow out of this torch at the old quarter entrance. Inside the apartment with the note about the Cetus Amicus, one of the two pieces of loot respawns. If you get in here, the copper coins on the shelf are there every day. So that's another 25. I'm gonna save my visit to the fence for after I have everything from everywhere. Well, actually, I'll just clear it out now. Doesn't matter much. So down here in the docks, I'm gonna get the fire arrow across from the fence, the gas arrow above her and to the left, and creep down into the Pagan territory to clear it out. Well, this is interesting. Gotta nab my water arrow from right there. Well, I guess he's not patrolling, and neither is she. No matter, we can get down the stairs on the dark side. So get that first moss arrow. Cross the bridge, get the second one over by their cocoon. Now we need to wait for this dude to make some room. I 
I don't know if he'll come straight this way or turn toward the cocoon. Straight this way. All right. I can work with that. Move into the tavern. There's still just two pagans. One ground floor, pl floor patroller and the shaman up top. So the flash bomb in here is here every day. One of the bar pieces of loot is just these copper coins. Hmm. I think there's something like these missing. Another 25 loot, which triggers a yellow alert as before. No worries there. Leafers and vines. Yeah, it bees all clear. Must not have there's been anything. So with that, we just need to get upstairs. Now, if you're not opposed to distractions, this pagan territory is one of your most important resources. Because... The two noisemaker arrows stuck in the table are here every day. I'm gonna grab her little wand. Uh, someone be taken my greensy wand. Yep. I'm just gonna use the bug to drop. Ugh, she sounds like me. So get the two noisemakers out of the side of the table. And one of the two pieces of loot inside the chest also respawns. You can still get the copper coins out of there. Although, obviously, you need to wait for her to leave. Goodbye to her. Left down, left up, down. Just like the landlord's lock. Get the coinage. And we're done. Time to get out of here. So... Creep all the way back up out of here. And I'll I'll still save the trip to the fence, just because I have to come most of the way back here anyway. Well, now, visitor now. And offload my artwork, plus any extra gems I might have picked up. So, what do you have for me? Oops. I guess you think this is a large So with that head back up here. Our next mission is down at the end of the sewers, so that's the last place I'm gonna go. Drunkards, all of them. And cowards too. If I'm a captain. I'd have a thing or two to change around here, yes, sir. I think he's headed south. He is. Well, that's a pain, because it means that we have to wait for him to come all the way back, so... I might as well kill a little time by nabbing the water arrow out of there. Beat standing there and staring at him, anyway. Out of the way, peasant. So there's the sunken citadel again, but we're not quite ready to go there just yet. We need to finish clearing the docks and clear the abysmal gale. And then we'll be set for day four. 
So, let me scout out where he is. I suspect he's... Okay, he has made it all the way down there. I might be able to get this gas arrow before he comes back. Okay. Now we should be safe waiting here for him to recross, and I might get the next Benny and his friend conversation around the corner. I can't remember if that's now or in day five. Anyway, he should pass by without any comments. If your wall flattened in that little doorway. How's the ah, hey, yep, the they're here. here is a really mean place to put him if you think about it because that's a blind corner and I can't really trigger the conversation to make them go away. Well, I just have to be careful. Oh, damn. Alright, I gotta get the gas arrow again. Before reflattening. And let's try again. Now I've had trouble uh, getting them to disappear. If they don't, I'll have to use some a water arrow to put out that torch, which is unusual. But it's a definite possibility to be alert to. Oh, let him get by and then creep down. Still on duty, eh? How's that uh, cut on your hand faring? Yeah, about as good as can be hoped for, says doctor. Let me have a look, see then. Hello. That it's looks terrible. Yeah, uh, see, the bad humors aren't getting released quick enough due to an uncommon sickness in my conundrum. Really? Or something like that. And also, Doc thinks I've got too dry a circulatory for leeches to stick properly. Well, you just say the word, and I'll have my man lance it for you, but good. Okay. Let's try and make them disappear now. I've had trouble here before. Oh, good. They're both gone. That's what we need. So... Get the fire arrow out of that torch. It's there every day. And we'll head over toward the Abysmal Gale. Uh, the water arrow at that pipe is there every day. to get back here without any comments, which isn't that hard to do, thankfully. Need to time both guards to get the two broadheads off of that crate. Which we can do right now, thankfully. Those in hand. I need to wait till he's turned away and then I can get up this ladder. My buddy the Rust Mites back up here where he belongs. Now we want to mantle up here and break into the tavern the same way we did before. Did he seriously green alert to the chest opening? He sure did. Oh well. Unless I bumped something. Let me try that again just to see if I can avoid that green alert.
And it's worth mentioning that we do also need to get Benny's help potion. Because it's there every day as well. Break in up here on the second floor. Well, sometimes your ears play tricks on you. Oh, he's hearing me close the shutters. Well, that's crazy. But I don't think there's anything I can do about it. So, I'll get the Jade Ring out of the chest. That's 50 loot right there. On the, sh the Copper Fork on the shelf respawns. That's another 25. And once you're downstairs, the Fire Arrow in the fireplace is here every day. I'll grab that. Good evening. And then... The lockpick is the same. Left, down, left, up, down. And Benny's patrol route should adjust to bring him all the way over here once he's, uh... Once I pick the lock on that door. So it'll be a simple matter to dart in and grab the potion. And with that, the docks is clear, so let's hit the Abysmal Gale again. Yahoo! Absolutely nothing has changed in the Abysmal Gale. Everything that was there the first time is there again. But we don't need to read anything this time, so... I guess that much is good. So, get the water arrow there on the right. Or, er, water arrow. Holy water. Here in the first chamber on the left. Copper candlestick, worth 25. And try and keep track of the zombies. I'm personally a fan of following him into the opening on the right where the holy water is. I'll wait until I can do that. Nab the holy water on top of that crate. And if you head down to the far left opening, you can get a health potion and a jade ring worth another 50. Oh, damn. Got too close to the zombie. That hasn't happened before. Got, got a little careless. My apologies, folks. So let's keep to the wall a little better. He green alerted. I thought he might. That move felt a little risky. Probably have to wait in here for him to turn around like I did the first time. There, he turned around. Now let's creep out and across. No trouble. 
Let's go clear the captain's cabin, then head downstairs. This guy is identical to before, so we want to get to this shadow next to the chest and wait till he's far away and get the ruby ring and the copper coins out of this chest. That might be good to pick the lock now. Yep. If I move quick enough... Oh, he green alerted to it closing that time. Even though he's at the far end of his patrol. Well, if he green alerts at the far end like that, there's no avoiding it, so... We'll move right along. When you get to this fallen door, turn right and drop into the hole in the floor. As before. You get down here, get the holy water from the southeast corner, get the jade necklace from the collapsed doorway, mantle up, up the ramp, and find two broadhead arrows in this room. Watch for the patrolling zombie. Need to get across this hall into this room. There's a chest with two pieces of loot, a copper bracelet and a copper ring. 25 and 75. Get those and listen at the door because the zombie's probably over here by now. Although I can't really hear anything on the other side of the door. Yeah, I can't hear anything. I'm gonna have to just trial and error. Alright. Trial and error doesn't work out too badly. He's on his way, so I just need to wait a few seconds for him to get far enough away not to green alert when I open the door. Okay, let's try it. Beautiful. So down the hall to the south, break left. We want to take this ramp down into the cargo hold. Just watch out for the zombie who patrols into here. We want to make our descent when he's out of the room because our landing will make some noise. <laughs> Enough to red alert him, it seems. So, as before, two, uh... Two chests in here, piece of loot in each. But I'm gonna have to wait for him to patrol out of the room before I try to get him. Let's take a look at Garrett. What a handsome devil. Nice eyeball. Alright. Well, he's still green alerted there. I knew there was a reason for what I was doing. I was waiting for him to clear the corner, you know, be past that doorway, around the corner, because that's when you can drop down without alerting him. At least, I could the first time I was here. I assume that's consistent. So he wants to head right first, that's his business, I'll wait on him. So 
immediately goes left. Now I should be able to drop. Yes, good. So I got the copper coin out of that chest. Well, before I go for that one, I think I want to wait for him to cycle in and out again. Nice little loop there, bro. Don't know what that's about, but you do what you gotta do. I'm gonna try and cut over behind him. Wait till I see him cross the doorway. Before I go after this treasure. Got the copper coins out of there. That's another 25. Only two things left to get. There's a holy water in one of the cabins up to the north. Which I'll go grab and... That might actually be the last thing I pick up. Because, as you may remember, the broadhead arrows in the south are rather prone to clipping errors. Don't forget the second patroller. Too slow. I was hoping the wall flatten and let him slip by me, but... I think it'll work, but I didn't quite make it in time, so... Let's have a little more speed. Where am I? Did I get the holy water yet? Yes. Let's just flatten here. Well, that's no good. Alright, new plan. Gonna flatten to the left before I get to the third cabin. And just let him patrol into there. And check the last cabin to see if I can get the broadheads. So I'll flatten right. Okay. Maybe flattening's not the answer. Maybe we crouch. Here we go. This ought to work. So homie's in there. Got by him. Let's check the cabin, see if we can get the broadheads. I see one, but Garrett can't grab it, so I guess that's a no. Anyway, you may be able to get one or even two broadhead arrows out of there if you're luckier than me with the game's clipping errors. Okay, I need to wait for him to leave. That's it, I just need to exit the ship now. So I'll wait till he heads to the other cabin again. He's in there. Close the door behind me. And get out of Dodge. Bye, y'all. So this, of course, pops us back out in the docks.
and I just need to get back to the sewers near the passage back to South Quarter. So I can wait right here to let the watchman get by. I did not expect to stop there. I'm glad he didn't alert. That's for sure. So let's check on our friend's whereabouts. Looks like he's up at Old Quarter, which is ideal. Come on. Don't even ask. There we go. Made it to the sewers. Totally unmolested. There's nothing down here, so run down the stairs, all the way to the end, right here at the entrance to the Sunken Citadel. I will do a save here and leave it. That is the end of day four, so join us next time for the Sunken Citadel. That's it for now. Bye-bye.